e -rev. Applied directly to the forehead. e -rev. Applied directly to the forehead. e -rev is not responsible for any monitors to head-related injuries. View at your own risk. Please hurry up. Uh, good night, ladies and gentlemen. We are here tonight uh, with another EG Rev uh, America's Army cast. Tonight is going to be the finals for the Epsilon Cup. Um, we're casting uh, live from Mount McKenna, uh, Epsilon versus Shogun on uh, the uh, Epsilon finals tonight. Um, I'm casting here tonight. I'm Orange Devil for EREV. I'm together with Jempo. Our video caster is going to be a DGR. And we're about 30 seconds away from going live. It's going to be Mount McKenna first, and then we're going to go over to Pipeline. Uh, Chempo, give us a quick introduction here. So, yeah, tonight is e -sport, uh, Epsilon Esports against the Polish Shogun. Just a quick roster rundown for Epsilon. There is uh, Kiko Man, Cloud, Paris, and Cesium. And for Shogun, there is Kreket, Hang, Goku, and David. Quite an right. even, even team. Um, I'd say that Epsilon might just have the edge over them, but Shogun are well known. Uh, for gaining quite a few of those lucky wins. But what do you think about the team as we're just about to go live? Well, we definitely have some uh, experienced players in Epsilon, and Shogun has been around for a while, so expecting a good match here as both teams should know um, the other pl uh, their teammates. They should definitely know these maps as they've been played for I don't know how long. So we were just going to look forward to a really good match. We're going to have Mount McKenna right now, three minute rounds, and we are live, live, live. We are going to just see some spam coming out there from both teams. I see a couple of hits connecting on the Shogun team as they have one player, I'm going to say red, quickly checking that, actually he's yellow, it's going to be David. Uh, both teams using their sauce to spam, and um, quickly checking if there's been any rushes from Epsilon. Epsilon Paris was the uh, spammer with the saw, he also seemed to have, uh, actually not Paris, uh, I'm going to say Kickoman, uh, also uh, took a hit there as he was spamming with the saw. So we've seen some uh, spam come out, we've seen some hits, and so far I would say Epsilon has got the uh, the upper hand in the spam league when it comes to uh, damage done so far. Chimpo, have you seen anything other interesting development so far? No, it just like, looks like both teams are just setting up here. Um, I see Paris just checking Church Tower from Alpha. Looks like he's going to be taking A objective now, uh, the Alpha objective. Yeah, we've got uh, Kickoman and Cesium both prone in lower gray. They're just uh, prone around there looking through the windows probably seeing if they can get any picks on the, uh, for example, church tower area. Uh, we're going to probably see Cesium going up to uh, upper gray in the next uh, few seconds. He is yellow himself as well, so I would say maybe uh, Shogun got a couple more hits there than I thought at the start. And uh, we have about a minute and 35 seconds on the clock. We have Shogun on that honor side, so they will be sort of defending this as it's two out of three objectives, obviously. And uh, the honor side gets that uh, right from the start normally. We now have Goku putting on some uh, some shots on lower gray, probably going towards uh, Kick a Man. We see, I see David shooting around the back of Alpha. And uh, it's going to be all up to uh, Epsilon to start making the push here. Cesium now uh, throwing some grenades and smokes. Looks like it's going to be a church push for Epsilon. Smoke's coming out now on the street. And uh, Cesium actually on the street now. Pear is also getting ready to go to the front of A. There with together with Cloud, who's also picked up some hits as he's yellow and avoiding nades at the moment. Uh, Jempo. Yeah, I've just uh, watched David just take down Cesium from uh, blue platform, but then Kikoman just shooting him uh, from lower blue. Goku oh, just uh, nading him Kikaman from um, yellow building. Now, Cloud down, he was trying to get into church and got taken down by Kresnik there. Now, Kresnik coming out of that church and taking out Paris as well in that alleyway between the church and Alpha. And that is it for that first round with uh, Shogun picking up that first round. Epsilon trying a push on the church. They got bogged down, especially in that area between the uh, the church and Alpha. Could not get in, couldn't get any picks off the uh, the actual inside of the church where Kresnik was uh, sitting. And uh, that was the round for Shogun. He's going to quickly see what's going to happen this round as uh, spam is coming out right away. Uh, both saw spamming, lots of spam coming out. Jempo. Yeah, um, Shogun actually getting the up on this spam this time. Cezian is now red bleeding. He did just quickly medic himself, but it, it might not have been enough. He might bleed out. He's going to smoke up that um, upper blue objective. 
I'm just quickly seeing what I can see here. As uh, we've actually seen here now, Paris coming around the back of Blue, taking down Goku on a uh, a pretty fast push there. I'm not sure if he came through the tunnels or if he came through the alleyway. Jempo. I think he, he well he just dropped out back down into tunnels. I think it was a tunnel rush. Uh, it is a well-known tactic from Epsilon there. So I think Parrish did the rush straight up to, um, in tunnels, came up the back of blue and picked off um, one of the Shogun players. Yeah, it's Epsilon having a lot of injured players, but obviously we've got uh, Shogun now with a man down. I'm just going to see what's going to happen this round as Paris has made his way back all the way to Loyalty Base area. And um, I'm going to go ahead and protect another charge push as they have scouted those positions last round. Jempo. Yes, yeah, things are just going on now. Uh, Shogun are just sitting around waiting for a pick. Doesn't look like they're doing much interesting at the minute. Um, David just uh, lower blue looking towards that yellow building thinking that Paris may have gone yellow but as things go at the minute there are quite a few Shogun players looking at that yellow building Hang looking yep. up towards that upper grey from the uh, upper blue looks like Paris is going to go in through the tunnels again as uh, right now we've seen uh, Cesium crawling around out of grey and into that little uh, window and uh, lower blue and he takes down uh, David from uh, Shogun there as now Epsilon is two players up but still a lot of injuries so we might just see a clutch with 55 seconds on the clock uh, let's go I'm going to see where Paris is Chempo can you see it I'm looking at a dark screen and I'm spectating him unfortunately yeah Paris is um, running through tunnels it looks like he is going to yellow building he is uh, just going up yellow up into yellow building now from tunnels pushing towards that church but he's exchanging fire here with um, Cricket here Cricket is pushing in. Oh, Paris taking Cricket down. And then the last Shogun player is upper blue. It's going to be Hang. He actually jumped down. He's now a lower platform. Probably going to go... He's going to stay there. He's now yellow. He has uh, Kiko next to him, and Kiko takes him down. Kickman takes him down as he moves into lower blue and uh, gets the flank and the kill. And uh, right now we're looking at a 1-1 one -one score. Yeah, Jumbo, you take that away the next round. Yeah, quite a good push there from Epsilon. Um, Paris playing exceptionally well from coming out of them tunnels, taking down two of their players um, uh, quite well. But at the start of the round, we're going to see, uh, it looks like it's going to be a street rush to Bravo with um, Cesium and I believe it is Cloud rushing into the uh, church tower. But um, Cricket spamming in a grenade into Alpha, taking Paris down, but Cesium exchanging with a grenade into um church tower and taking down Cricket, but it looks like Cloud's going to be rotating back to upper alpha. A season yeah, getting taken down. down from yellow. Yeah, actually that was uh, from between yellow and church as uh, Goku has connected to the church and is going in there now, basically standing on his corpse, uh, the corpse of his friendly. And uh, it was quite an impressive shot through that church, through the window, through and through, and I think he just uh, took him out really fast there. Um, just quickly trying to figure out Hang still on that upper blue area, and then we have David around the uh, the phone booth area behind uh, behind blue, and he's definitely curious, uh, maybe nervous about what's going on with those tunnels. He's looking at that, and he's going to check that out right now. Maybe he's even going to try to make a flank around that tunnel. And uh, for Epsilon, we have Kiko Man on upper gray and Cloud on lower A on the church side left, and Tempo. Uh, yeah, it's a 2v3 situation uh, in hand of Shogun. Uh, Cloud just looking around. I think they're going to try and defend this A objective, but there is going to be a smoke coming out from Alpha towards the middle of um, Church and Alpha. Well, as we're talking now, Kiko is up a, uh, up a blow at the Charlie objective. Uh, just exchanging fire here with uh, Hang. But David is pushing through the tunnels and will be coming up through Alpha up in Alpha Tunnels, but Hang just um, taking down Kiko there at Charlie Objective. Cloud knew David was there and took him down in them uh, Alpha Tunnels. That was and nice he will be pushing there. towards that that church building. 2v1. Uh, Cloud has it all to do with one of the Epsilon players going to be Hang Red. So a clutch is possible, but as I say that, Cloud gets taken down trying to get into the church from the street side, I believe. Or was that through the window, Chempo? Yeah, um, Cloud comes into the 
the church building from the front door and then Goku just spin around as he hears him and then takes him down. So that's right. a 2-1 lead to Shogun. I'm going to need a really quick reconnect as my uh, night vision is completely bugged off. Uh, so I will be right back. Uh, Jumpo, you take it away. Okay, as we're going, uh, we're going to see another ch uh, tunnel push. As sees him this time, we'll be rushing through tunnels. Um, uh, some spam fire exchanged. Doesn't look as if anyone's been... Oh, Hang's been hit red. As he is um, at the back of blue now, looking towards um, the window towards a uh, grey building. David taking the upper blue objective, Charlie. But still spam, just going to have a look on Cesium. Oh, as Paris is now pushing up yet into yellow building. S taking fire here with Goku, I think. Chasing him down. Paris is trying to run away. He has no bullets left. Meanwhile, Cesium down by David's grenade. Uh, on the other side of the map, I do believe, as David was in upper blue. I'm not 100% sure where Paris was of that round as I was still connecting. A uh, bit of a standstill situation now. Obviously not that common with uh, rounds this short. Normally when the action starts, it's going to keep coming. And as I say that, Kick -A Man gets spotted sitting between uh, the gray and blue building in that little alley uh, next to the corner windows by Kresik as he comes out of the church on the street side and takes him down with about two bursts. And uh, that probably means that round is going to go to... Uh, uh, I'm gonna say a shogun, but uh, we'll we'll see how this goes, as we still have a minute and 25 seconds on the clock. On the other side, the uh, shogun has the easier side on mount, I do believe at the moment. So they definitely need to pick up every round they can get, because if epsilon gets too much, that can be the match already right here. I I, I do think. This is a four v two uh, situation. Yep. With uh, Paris, I've just made his way to Upper Blue, while I see Shogun uh, Goku on the middle of the road, basically being quite uh, exposed there. If if Paris would have looked out, that would have probably been a, a kill right there. Paris himself, yellow cloud on the back of Alpha at the moment, is going to follow Epsilon here, as uh, the action will obviously concentrate around them. With 40 seconds on the clock, they have to make the push, as they have only that Alpha objective. Uh, Paris putting some nades out towards the church, now some smoke on the road. Uh, looks like that's a distraction as he's going to go for upper blue right now uh, while Cloud tries to go into the church. Paris is immediately taken down by Hang when he tries to get there. Uh, Cloud has made his way out of A, trying to get into that church now, and he cannot make that happen for him right now as he is taken down immediately by David. Uh, Shogun taking that round without too much problems for a 3-1 to one lead in this uh, map so far. Jempo. Yeah, comfortable. No deaths at all for Shogun that round. There was um, Goku and... Um Hang that were both red towards the end of that round, but not losing any players that round. Um, seemed quite comfortable there for Shogun. Epsilon didn't seem to be playing at their best there, as getting taken down, uh, losing two players quite early in the round. Epsilon well, actually Cesium. deploying two man spam so f uh, this round, with now even Cesium putting some fire down as he does not seem to be. Uh, as they Epsilon does not seem to be going into uh, gray too fast. That does leave them open to. Uh, a bit of a rush style play from uh, from Shogun towards that gray building, although I don't think many teams uh, would commit to a strategy like that, especially when with so much spam coming out, you just have a big chance to get hit like happened to Hang here as he's uh, yellow and he is now medicing David, who also ran over across the street, who's red. So a rush strategy would be possible if you got lucky enough that the, uh, that the spam does not connect. But uh, so far, the spam is proving to be worth uh, Epsilon's while. As uh, Cesium is probably going to try to get a pick here, trying to go out of gray, uh, lower gray into that little alley, maybe uh, drawing grenades, or seeing if he can get a pick. And uh, while I'm saying that, he's quickly checking all the other players, kick him and behind Cesium there, giving him some cover. And I'm not sure what he was shooting at there, towards the back of Alpha now going up uh, upper blue. I do think these two players are going to be the ones that have to uh, start it off for Epsilon and, and, and get a little breach in the defense. And... Uh, Let's see if they can create some room. And as I'm saying that, Cesium is taken down by David's grenade. He was in that alley and could not dodge that fast enough. Jempo. Yeah, um, can't see much going on now, but there is some fire going on from uh, upper blue towards that upper uh, grey building. David down below waiting with a flash in case it's a rush while Hang is trying to hold them off. 
Yeah, kick him out with uh, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you there. It's gonna look like kick him out was trying to get that pick just to see if he can get anything done. But um, the main strategy for Epsilon has looked like trying to focus on the church. While this round, we've actually seen Paris now move up to upper blue also. And it's going to be a, uh, a blue attack here as uh, two players, I think Kickman and Paris, now rushing through the uh, alley next to blue building. They're in lower blue right now. That's where most of the action is going to be. And uh, David immediately taken out by Kickman. I think that was actually in his back. Goku is sitting outside of the telephone booth. He's going to come in lower blue now as well. Hang is now taken out by Paris in that upper blue area. Goku uh, choosing to run away from that uh, objective. And it looks like maybe... Uh, Cloud in being in yellow, there's nobody in alpha. I'm not sure if uh, if if Shogun has realized this. Now Kresik taken down by uh, taken down by Kickerman. I think he maybe uh, tried to run to alpha, and now Goku also taken down by Kickerman, possibly trying the same. Uh, Chempo, I w was not 100% sure what Shogun was doing there. Did, did you have an idea of what they tried to do? Well, I think they wanted to get in quickly into that um, alpha building to try and take it, as if they thought um, the full epsilon were, were pushing onto that blue building. But um, it was actually when they came up behind them, and um, was actually taking them in the thinking they was coming behind them. But Kiko was uh, taking taking them out from that uh, eight to uh, blue to grey platform, uh, taking down two players as they was rushing across from Church to Alpha Building. But it is now uh, swap uh, half time as they have swapped teams now. That was definitely an interesting uh, decision by Shogun there, as they had um, their saw player. I'm not 100% who that was. I think it was um, Goku there, who was uh, sitting basically right next to Lord Blue, and he decided to abandon Blue and not go for that Charlie objective, but try to go with his friendly through that church into Alpha, and uh, attempt to take that Alpha objective for the uh, last minute or you know, last second win. Uh, right now we're going in the live round of the second uh, half, as uh, we have Epsilon now going into uh, Honor, which is uh, the Defendish side, uh, three to two score so far in favor of uh, Shogun. We have lots of spam coming out from uh, both teams. Hang actually taken down by Cesium as he's trying to get into Gray, uh, and uh, immediately the uh, second kill also by Cesium on, on Kresik. I'm, I'm not even. That was both in the same area trying to get into that lower Gray uh, uh, place. Uh, I think Cesium was up in that uh, church tower really fast, taking him down. Although he could have been on the street as well, I suppose, but I do think that was a church tower tempo. Yeah, David just getting shot from uh, Kikoman. He's at the phone booth. David was trying to get an aid into that church building, but uh, Kiko holding him back, now making David red bleeding. That's just medicked himself. But Cesium did get them two kills from front of uh, church building, uh, leaning out, looking at the the grey door from uh, loyalty spawn. There's things going on now. Sees him is pushing towards. Um, I, I don't know where he is. He's in Alpha Building now, getting shot. Oh, David taking him down there as he comes up the ladder. That was a nice Looks try like to get the, the round early there from uh, from Epsilon. Goku is gonna be the player that has it all to do though. David's gonna have to sit there and, and keep Alpha objective, which he's been doing fine so far, taking down that uh, that tunnel push from uh, Cesium. But Goku is the one that has to force something here. He's being shot from two sides now. One player outside, one player above him from Epsilon. He has been uh, shot yellow now. And Goku needs to go clutch and, uh, and take that objective to let uh, his team have any chance of doing anything. Meanwhile, Shogun has uh, let David push up as well, which makes Goku's position only worse. As he now has to push, goes around the corner, take, gets taken out by Kickerman immediately. That was a bit of a, again, interesting decision as uh, uh, David pushed there quite early as well trying to put the pressure up on the church, but then, you know, you get the risk that one of the two players gets taken down and the other one's completely alone and has to do it, or right there and then, uh, with no objective secure anymore. And you have to go and uh, get two objectives, and uh, none of them actually worked that round as uh, Cloud and Kickerman took them down. Lots of spam coming out again. Uh, this time, uh, Shokin going for a fast, great push, not waiting, not giving Season the chance to uh, do that again, and uh, they have managed to get two players into gray with Hang going for a quick uh, peek into that alley. He's actually seeing one of the players there, but I think he's uh, immediately gone back uh, back into gray when he was looking through that window um, in a lower blue. Jempo. Yeah, Cesium is again in that um, alpha tunnel. I think he's going to try and get out there this time. I think they're going to have a push onto that alpha, but Goku knows he's there as he's looking down into tunnel. So there's going to be a fight about to go on here. Goku taking him down, and then that sees him down there from uh, alpha tunnel. 
Meanwhile, Cloud's been, uh, he's now securing Bravo. He's been in the uh, church tower, threw a nade from there towards Alpha. He's also picked up some uh, hits somewhere, probably from the, the I see a scorch mark below blue, uh, Bravo objective, so I think he's been uh, maybe hit a bit by that grenade. So Epsilon now playing 4v3, not in their favor, with Epsilon Cloud uh, uh, being yellow. Meanwhile, for uh, SG, for Shogun, uh, they only have Hang yellow, so they effectively just have a complete player advantage. And uh, they're going to have to make the push with uh, what it looks like. Cloud now bleeding red in the church. Then we have Perez on the platform. And then uh, we have, where is the last player? We have Kickerman in lower blue. Now actually spamming towards the uh, lower blue window on the gray side and going up to uh, upper blue. So it looks like the church is uh, the weaker side at the moment. I'm just going to see how uh, how uh, Shogun reacts to uh, to that situation right now. With 1 minute 15 seconds on the clock. Tempo. Yeah, it looks like they're about to make um, a blue building push. There's Cricket and Hang in that gray building. But this could be a dummy. As I see them now going to the to the side of gray, and it might be a church push. I'm going to say church. David is on his way through the tunnels, and he has chosen to go towards... Uh, no, he hasn't gone, chosen to go to yellow. He's going for blue. This is going to be a blue push. Hank taking down my kickman's grenade. I'm not sure where that happens. I was following David. Tempo, did you see that one? No, I believe um, Kickerman spanned it from upper blue, and then he's just rushed through. He's now coming behind into Alpha building, and I think he's going to try and ninja the Alpha objective without any of the Shogun players knowing. But, and that's and the that game. Worked. That was, uh, I don't know what Shogun was doing there, as they put their tunnel player, it was Krissik, uh, through the tunnels, he went out behind blue, and then he came back from that uh, tunnel entrance towards yellow. He went inside yellow, and just when the round ended, he, he was uh, standing in yellow building, spamming towards, or not actually standing, he was just shooting towards the, uh, the defender in the church, so that was actually a church push, but it just went horribly wrong, as they uh, pushed with everybody they got, left nobody at the objective, and uh, got ninja like that in the back. Uh, right now we have uh, Hang having gone through uh, Gray, and he is sees him taken down by Hang, and then Hang immediately taken down by Paris. As uh, Hang has gone through Gray at that lower blue window again, and he takes down sees him as I said, and then immediately gets uh, replied by Paris. But I, I do think he nicked Paris as well. As I'm uh, scrolling over to him, seeing that he's the Paris is still green, so he probably hasn't been hit, and uh, that was a pretty nice reaction there from uh, from Epsilon minimizing that damage. Although, all in all, I am, you know, given that Epsilon is on the defendish side of the map, I, I, would, I would say that for Shogun, uh, trading kills is not a bad situation in the start of the round. Tempo. Yeah, I believe that um, Paris should have covered Season a bit more better. I think that was his role in that, that round, to cover that window so that Season wouldn't get shot. But at the end of it all, uh, Paris did get the kill, but Epsilon did lose Season. There's things yeah, going now. A lot worse. Not much happening. There is a uh, Kiko man going towards that phone booth again, looking towards upper Alpha, trying to get a pick, spamming down the street. It it does look like Shogun is going for the uh, the tried and true way of playing mode of uh, pushing up early, see if you can get a pick, and then wait for the timer to run down, and try to go as last second as possible to secure the objective basically going all in, uh, pushing every player they have into one objective, try to take it right in the last seconds. There's no way that the defenders can reply anymore. But we've seen last round that that's not always the best strategy as uh, one player through the tunnels can uh, foil that with, uh, you know, the, that round I think would have probably gone to Epsilon anyway, just the way that was panning out. But uh, that could have been a completely successful push for uh, for Shogun with uh, basically no casualties on their side and all the remaining Epsilon players down except the one in the tunnels and they would have still lost it so it is definitely quite risky now we have uh, smoke coming out in the church David has needed the uh, over the church towards that area there and Goku is now in upper blue as he is uh, making his way to the objective to secure that Jempo yeah Paris I don't know if he knows that if the Goku is up there but he does see him taking fire but falls down off platform but he is going to throw a nade up there, but he has got Kiko to back him up there. Cloud down by David as uh, now Epsilon has to be on the assault. If Goku can keep this Charlie objective, then that's going to be the win. And is that the win for uh, for Shogun? I, I do believe it is, as they have taken Bravo, I do believe. Tempo. I'm not 100% sure what happened to that round then. I wasn't, I was watching uh, Kiko, man. I'm not sure who got the win, but I believe that was Shogun's round.
But the, the, I, the, the, the scores is four all, and there was sixteen I do seconds left on the clock. That that happened. I'm not sure. Maybe Goku didn't actually take the uh, the Bravo objective, or the, the the Charlie objective, and then it could have been another ninja. But I I, I don't think that happened actually. There's we see Hang again pushing through Gray, and again doing the same th thing, looking out that lower blue window. Surely this this can't work again, as uh, it it doesn't actually. And there's no some mannequin going on on that lower gray area. And uh, Paris has made his way up to uh, upper blue without any difficulties there. Um, both objectives being taken now for Epsilon, and uh, Goku checking out the tunnels for uh, Shogun. And let me just see what else is going on. Yeah, that was definitely an an Epsilon round. As it was four three the round before, so it is it was Shogun's ninja there taking all the objectives. Um, pushing Epsilon out to a to a fall all score. Not 100% sure if that would be still a ninja though as they did uh, le legitimately push all the objectives and remove the defenders that just didn't happen to get a lot of kills there but they did push back the defenders for sure so that was uh, impressive uh, an impressive victory there I, I do think for that for that round at least Uh, not much going on at the minute. <laughs> yeah, just uh, had some silence there. I'm not sure what Goku is doing, but it, it definitely looks funky. He's like crouching up and down like a bunny, uh, with his weapon on his back, which is very interesting. I think that's you know just the thing that you can see perhaps a little bit different when you have your weapon on your uh, on your back as opposed to in your hands. Just trying to scout that out or something. I, either that or there's another spectator bug that I'm not aware of. But uh, at the moment, uh, Epsilon just sitting tight in their positions. Cloud in the charge. We have uh, Perez upper blue. Uh, we have Cesium uh, lower blue on the gray side. And then we have uh, Kickerman. Where's, where's Kickerman? Kickerman is in a uh, yellow building looking towards right. uh, the back of blue, towards that ladder. But there is um, both coming up to 45 seconds left. I think I'm missing one of the uh, the Shogun players though is I've got uh, David in uh, lower A Shogun at the back of A now coming out there and uh, Hang on upper blue I'm not sure where the uh, remaining Shogun player is going to be Kresik is is he is it, is it Kresik is prone in um, in the middle of grey and blue he is pushing behind the back of blue uh, grenade in upper blue now with only 20 seconds left on the clock it looks like it is going to be a blue push actually oh, no, he's running past church. blue so it's going to be another Double push or or a fake on the blue and then go into uh, to the church. It's now cesium is down and cloud is also down and the uh, the church is in the hands of uh, SG with now Kresik and Goku going down and we got Han in the blue and he's gonna have to go up with no time on the clock and that's gonna be another round in favor of Epsilon. No, it was a tie round. Um, uh, actually, not 100% who had the objectives. It is um, five four no, in favor was of actually Epsilon. Epsilon yeah. Uh, yeah. That was an Epsilon round as uh, the church push actually came through and uh, the defender in the church got taken out and Shogun took over that church but then didn't manage to take the objective until the uh, before the reinforcements arrived. And uh, with no time on the clock, the last Shogun player, uh, Hang, was just left with not enough time to uh, to do anything there. And we have again Hang pushing up on that lower yep. blue window. That's quite and repetitive. And there is Cracket, uh, Cracket upper blue as well now. Looks like Blue Building is in control of um, Shogun. That's an interesting turn of events there. Is there's three Shogun players now moving in that Blue Building, with uh, Hank taking out Paris, and then immediately uh, Goku replying, taking down uh, Paris in the back. And uh, now we have a big firefight. Upper Blue Goku being red there, yellow from Paris, and then immediately red from uh, Kickerman as he's reacting there, and sees him now down by. Uh, by Crescent, because that was maybe not even kicking my ass. I'm not 100% sure there, but I do know that uh, two Epsilon players went down for one SG player, and Upper Blue is in the hands of SG, with Goku still being red and possibly bleeding. Not sure if he just medic himself, uh, but that could turn out to be bad for SG later on. And unfortunately, I I'm, I'm seem to be unable to follow Crescent. So, Tempo, if you can uh, locate that player, that would be great. Crescent is um, Upper Blue now, uh, with his teammate. I think it is. Goku, yeah. Um, but they, I don't know if they know where Kikoman is, lower blue, but Kikoman's waiting for him to come from that, um, that box room in upper blue, coming down the ladder. 
clout with quite a risky spot, but it may pay off. He can control the entire street. He's sitting next to the uh, the church wall, basically next to the church tower on the street side. If the platform or uh, the corner windows get in the hands of uh, Shogun, then he's going to be in a lot of trouble. But if Shogun tries to run across the street in any way, he's going to be there to pick him off. Uh, so we're just going to see how that will happen. And if there's going to be any sort of church push, which Shogun absolutely does not have to do. They, they can they have the two objectives. They can sit there. Then he is also there to to take that out. As Clout now makes his way back into the church, he hasn't taken the objective yet, probably because of all the f action uh, so early in the round. So he is now securing that objective. We have Goku setting up in uh, lower gray, uh, looking at that church door on the uh, alpha side. He's going to try to help his friendly uh, covering that uh, objective alpha, I, I do believe. Although, the thing is, if they manage to run past Goku, he's going to be red. He's not going to be there in time to cover alpha. Then it's going to be all up to do for David to keep them away from alpha objective. He's got to cover those tunnels, and he's got to cover that main entrance. As Cloud now moves outside, gets taken. Uh, that's a lot of hits from that lower gray uh, saw from Goku. He's actually red, and he has got to go in now on his own against David. As uh, actually Goku comes out and takes him down as he's not fast enough to go in. Kick on being the last player alive for Epsilon, and he has got to make oh, a splash. Oh, Kiko taking him he down. Has he's got to take that objective that quickly now. Yeah, yeah I don't think he's got time. Clock. That's right, the, the time there time. ran out. With a 5-5 five to five, uh, score then in the end. It was an impressive uh, score here on Mount in the first map, and it's going to be all up to... It's going to be a pipeline then that's going to decide who wins this match. I'm, I'm curious now. I have, uh, I've been informed about these two maps. But what are the, the do we know the rules for uh, overtime in case that this is going to be a 10-10 in the end? I'm not 100% sure on the rules on this Accept Cup yet. But I think it is, um, whatever map it is on, It does. Um, they play three rounds of each. I'm not 100% sure. All right, so we're going to have the decision on pipeline with Mount having been a, a very good match. Both teams employing uh, interesting strategies and some great play individually by the players. But uh, in the end, the result is going to be meaningless when it comes to the actual outcome of the finals here. As Pipeline will be, uh, you know, responsible for deciding who will win. Um, I hear that it's going to be four minute rounds. It's very little for Pipeline. So I expect some, uh, some fast-paced action there as well. Um, we're just going to see how that uh, works out for these teams. Jimpo. Yeah, um, definitely um, pipeline a defense-sided map. So I don't. It looks like um, Shogun will be on defense first. So depending if Epsilon can get some good pushes onto them, um, either on the three ob um, primary objective, the primary, secondary, or uh, exterior objective, or going straight for that um, control panel up in the main control room, it, it will we'll see. But I think um, Epsilon will be take will be going for the valves. But I'm not really sure, but we'll see. But it looks like uh, Cesium has joined <laughs> Shogun's team. I mean, what do you uh, think about that uh, first map there on Mao and what the action going on there? Uh, yeah, um, it's just slipped out of my mind what just happened in that last round there. Oh yeah, the the clock run down. Um, Kiko man, if they would have had a little extra time, maybe he could have got him. He maybe waited a little too, bit too long to push on that upper blow and um, take that upper blow objective, but. I think he was waiting for a bit of cover sound so he could go up that ladder, so maybe, um, I forgot who he actually fought with in that upper blow objective, but maybe so he could cover up some sound to get on, up into the I do believe objective. that was Kresik. I believe it was but playing yeah. there with Kresik, but uh, if he was waiting for cover sounds, then Cloud probably should have gone earlier, as as soon as he went out, the cover sound came out in the form of Goku shooting at Cloud, and then actually playing really well, in my opinion, when Goku actually coming out onto the street and taking down Cloud as Cloud was taking too long to, uh, Try to get into A. Obviously, he, he couldn't just rush in there as as we had a uh, uh, who was going to be in there. It was going to be David standing in there in A to uh, to take him down as soon as he did come in. So we had to get a flash or something like that out. But uh, he did take, in my opinion, quite long to, to get anything done there. Uh, but uh, Goku reacted quite nicely to that. I, I do think. Um, at the moment, the teams are having a little bit of a dispute. I think about who's going to be playing on which side. In the end, obviously, it doesn't really matter because they have to play each side anyway. Uh, we're going to have a 10 round match on Pipeline, 4 minute rounds that we still have to change, Tempo if you could maybe uh, update that, um, and whoever has more rounds on the end wins, that's how simple that's going to be, um, that's who's going to win the Epsilon uh, Cup Final, and take away the uh, the first place cash price of, how much was it, 1500 
Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, fifteen hundred euros. Yeah. And I believe it's 700 euros for second place and uh, 500 euros for the third place, which I believe was. Um, I think HRD though, took that one. High fidelity. I forgot who were Epsilon. It was whoever Epsilon played yesterday. I forgot who they played on. Oh. We, we were, we were informed it. about that at the start of this match, but it, it does slip my mind. I just think that HFD was high fidelity. was one of the two teams and if I remember correctly which I may not uh, I, I, I do believe they uh, GMA actually ah it was the other German team that I oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. GMA was the one that took that uh, that third place and uh, it's also gone away with some uh, with some interesting cash prizes there at the moment though this match is going to be pipeline 10 rounds whoever wins uh, takes away 1500 whoever loses takes away 700 so we're playing for 800 euros up for grabs that's uh, definitely worth uh you know, playing your best for. Uh, Jempo, what do you think about the uh, the individual uh, performance of the players here so far? Well, I was expecting Cesium to be playing a bit more strongly. He has uh, become one of the, the strongest CQ play players I have seen in a long time. Um, doing some really nice shots, but it seemed like uh, when they was playing on loyalty, um, the spam seemed to have been slowing him down, but as on on um on a he, he did play okay, but I believe that he could have done a bit better. I think that um they wasn't expecting Shogun to be as strong as they was, but um definitely I think the key player for Epsilon on uh, Mount McKenna was probably Kiko Man, and for Shogun either Cricket or uh, or Goku. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name right, uh, Krekic or Kresic. I'm not sure if I've been saying it wrong. I do apologize. I just absolutely have no idea. Um, what I do know, though, is that um, even though perhaps on some fronts Shogun was playing a bit repetitive, for example, with pushing up Hank through that lower gray, trying to get into lower uh, blue window and get, get a spam kill there, which only really happened once, and then he got taken on himself. On the other side, they, they did uh, play really nice with that, for example, blue push, push, and uh, just the entire way they played that, uh, I'm especially impressed with the, with the way they played loyalty. But uh, their their honor was definitely not bad. They did not get overrun or anything like that. It's a bit of a shame that they uh, they lost that one round to the ninja grab from the tunnels. But on the other side, that round was quite key in uh, getting this overall tie right now. Because else, it could have just as well been that uh, epsilon was down. Because uh, you know that push was still going on. Although I did say that. That push probably would have failed with Epsilon taking that round anyway, even without the grab. But then again, you know, you never know. So that ninja grab was quite uh, an important part of that uh, of that map right there. Jumbo. Um, but I think, I don't know how much Shogun's been um, practicing for this, but I know that Epsilon hasn't been as active as they first was. But um, I don't think they've prepared much recently for these two matches. Um, I think they practiced a bit more, a bit before the match today. But over the past past week or so, I've not really seen them much playing. So maybe this is why they didn't expect to get that that tie five five on Mount McKenna. Maybe they thought, you know, um, we, we we know we can win this, and just maybe came in a bit overconfident and didn't pr practice enough for, uh, to take the win on Mount McKenna. But I'd say it, it is probably their sh one of their strongest maps in there. Uh, in their team, because I know that Kiko Man, you know, with that story is very deadly, especially with his spam. You even saw that Shogun was struggling to handle to hold him off. But um, we know that it's one of Cesium's strong maps, uh, being a CQB. But we'll see what happens now. Uh, maybe Shogun can maybe show him up and um, say that we're the underdogs and we can take down Epsilon. But well, we'll see on this indeed, map on his finals. Pipeline. Yeah, exactly. Pipeline there, uh, definitely going to be a spectacle on this uh, entire finals. Uh, right now, though, we're going to quickly take a really short break and get ready for this second map uh, to cast it, and we will be right back. <laughs> 